Paul Plate is dying. There's no way around it. There's no way to prove otherwise. It's just dying. A month ago, there were over a thousand members online at any given point, and now, today, there's only 500, which is half the original size. In today's video, I'm basically going to be playing a solo and just kind of talking about why I think it's dead, and um, yeah, that's really it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so basically, let's hop into it. Why is Hoplite dead? So one of the reasons why I think that this server is just completely dead is because of the... Um, the single aim that this server had. Hoplite was not trying to be just an anything Minecraft server, like how Hypixel is, you know? Hypixel, there's 50 different game modes, choose the one you like the most, and that's about it. But Hoplite is no, it's UHC, maybe a little PvP practice, but that's about it. I think that's where Hoplite finds problem, because for no matter how many people like to watch uh, content made on this server, not everybody actually likes to play it and that is not good for player base because well videos on the server actually don't do that bad right like i've seen people amass thousands of views but it just doesn't seem like it's happening with the same player base all right now it's time for um reason two why i think that hoplite is not succeeding as much as it should be so hoplite when it does have a player base it, it, there's a bunch of different reasons why people play the server. There's some people who are so intent on having a chill, relaxing time and who don't want to absolutely sweat their balls off while they play a simple multiplayer game. And then there's others who make it their whole freaking life. And I mean, there's people who grind the server day in and day out to get the best as they possibly can. And like, good for them. It's great. And some people may even have made like a career out of it. But when you're just a casual player, it's not enjoyable to play when someone is sweating so hard right next to you in the same lobby and you can't even play, right? So I think that a lot of the not so sweaty players are leaving the server simply because UHC is such a learned game. And if they, did, if they don't take the time to learn it, they're not going to be good at it. And it's just kind of be... It's just kind of cooked for them, you know? And all right, now it's time for reason three. And reason three is really kind of not just the server's fault. So what is it? It's lag. There's been many times when I and friends have been uh, raring to play a hoplite match. You know, we're already using some of our free time uh, very wastefully, but it's great because we're playing Minecraft, we're having a blast, and it's just a goaded experience. And then we're hit with the rubber banding. Not only the rubber banding, we're also hit with the bamboozling, the lagging players. And part of this category is definitely going to be the fact that EU players have such a freaking advantage on um, 1.18 PvP. I mean, it's bad for 1.8. There are definitely advantages to being an EU player. I mean, your hits um, will kind of register more, but also it's just harder for people to track you. And NA players, I find this a lot. It is very hard to go up against an EU player and win simply because the lag around you, their crits still register like yours, and it's just brutal. Uh, there's not really much that the Hoplite server can do to fix this, I guess. Since they're just in Europe, they should really have proxies for um, North American players, for um, Asia players because right now it's very laggy for many groups of people who would be on. And I, I honestly find the EU um, group to be the most sweatiest, most try-hardy group. And that's why there's not really that many EU players who play, because a lot of them have been bullied off of the game by sweats. All right, now it's time for reason four of why Hoplite is dead. And that reason is lack of branding. So for many players who, like there's still probably a thousand players who play Hypixel and hate it because of the lag or because of the lack of update and versions. And there are, there's probably a massive audience who would love to play Hoplite and they're just not getting branded to. Like I for one did not know this server was a thing because I didn't watch much YouTube until my friend Shift14 got me into it. But some people might not have like a friend or someone to show them to it. And I think building a little even more hype around the server would have gone a long way for the devs and for the people uh, into it. And part of that too is just like 
getting updates out faster as a very new server this thing should have been booming with like every three weeks new season the owners i feel like should be working non-stop make new legendary weapons new things to where they are making their player base feel cared for you know whereas right now especially since it's a primarily uhc server there's not many things to do and if you're just playing hoplite it gets extremely repetitive i mean i it's the same thing every single game get stacked find someone in your cave and then get absolutely clapped in pvp and i feel like if there was a little more variation with like i heard that they're looking to implement a game mode where there's instant pvp and i am 150 percent for that i feel like the only way this server is gonna really um see a high boom in players again is if they keep introducing new game modes and new um things to do all right and the final reason why i think hoplite is really dying is because of the uh the kind of niche skill set that you need to be able to thrive in this type of game mode i mean not only do you have to be good in a survival kind of speedrunning way of getting stacked really fast, but you also just have to be really good at PvP, and there's many other things too that are involved. This guy's on 13, I can get this. There's a guy behind me trying to clean me though. Even like, there's very annoying people, and all of this just kind of leads to a very niche game sensey thing that you need to be aware of constantly. I mean, there's so many mechanics to master. Oh, like not getting caught by guys with stuff that can kill you extremely fast. I'm surrounded and most players would not be able to get out of this. Oh, including me, yeah, I guess. I'm getting clean. See, like, this is Hoplite. This is Hoplite in a nutshell. It is very difficult to play the game because there's so many things that you have to get good at. There's a guy with a fire sword, there's a guy with a fire bow, and I'm just dead. So that is my reasons on why Hoplite is dying. It's not because the server is trash. It is because of, well, it's because of what you guys just saw. If you guys like this type of video, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.